As you may have noticed, we have a season three of ponies, and yeah, well, yeah, that's this video. I'm talking about that. So yeah, season three, ponies, and excellent, it's words. I, I should come up with words for that, but why bother? If you've watched it, you know it, it's awesome pony time. If you haven't watched it, you're not probably going to. So it's everything I could want from this show, except, you know, it's the third season of it, so we have more interesting things going on. A lot of references to first season material and other things, and it's all keeping a fluid continuity where things that happen before have relevance later, and... Ah, uh, see, that's good writing. When you have a lot of episodic shows, you end up with that problem where, well, didn't this thing happen, and where did it go after the episode was over? Star Trek had a problem with this, you know, where they, where was the awesome super weapon they found last episode? Like, why didn't they pull that thing out of the garage? But it ends up where these things come back into relevance in some regard for the show. And that's, I like that. It's a good little bit of writing. But... I've heard a few people talk about how, you know, it's in its third season, it's popular now, so it's 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 overplayed now, it's it's done, right? It's in its third season now. It's and uh, all I could do is like sigh. Exasperatedly sigh and just go like really, guy? Like you have a good thing here. It's still pretty good. It's fun. It's the same as it was with just new things going on and it's overplayed now. Like it's just it's done because it's cool. I mean, is is it the hipster thing? Is that what's going on here? I I mean, or is it just like is 3 a magic number where when it hits 3 it's too mainstream? I I really I'm not getting it, because people aren't making points like the show's quality has degraded, or something like that that would actually relate to its substance. But it's just, somehow now, a group of people have decided that it's overplayed because it's gone on this long. And I confess, I don't understand it whatsoever. But, like, I think I said in, like, the first video I uploaded or something about how you should judge something based on its substance and its quality, right? Well, as far as I can see, the show has maintained its substance and quality. Why should I suddenly dislike it? Or why should anyone suddenly dislike it? Well, because they're, what they're doing is they're going back and repeating the same thing over again, and it gets boring, and it's not only that, they're having a, a season with fewer episodes because they're about to start running out of ideas. It's starting to get overplayed and just done. <sighs> You can make that argument because, yes, they reference things that have happened before. I talked about it as a good thing, but I guess some people could look at that as somehow bad. But when you get into a show, are you going to tell me that shows, no matter what they are, do not start repeating their thematic and ideas after a certain number of episodes? It's just all in how you do it that matters. Point to me a show that's gone on for more than, like, 50 episodes that doesn't have an episode that harkens back to another episode or a flashback episode or an episode about something that already happened. It's just a reality of shows. And I'm not going to pretend that The Ponies is a perfect show, that it does everything perfectly right and it never repeats anything, but you have to judge it based on the reality that all shows do this. It's, it's a part of syndicated television. And it's how they handle it that matters. It's how the quality of their material, how that flows, how it all fits together, that's what matters, isn't it? Well, it's not the perfect show. Well, if you're going to hold it up to that kind of a standard, there's nothing that fits. Then there's no perfect show or perfect anything. Everything has flaws. Take it for those flaws, as well as the things that are good about it. In the end, it's it's a show. It's a fucking television show that is fun and colorful and it's yay and cute. But it's just a show. Like, I can step back from it and have an identity apart from it and do the rest of my life, you know. But it's a thing that's there too. But I need to get so wound up. People are all getting serious about this shit where they're arguing about it and season three is the worst ever and blah da da and it's back and forth and... It's a show, people. Chill out. Enjoy the shit. It's colorful, it's fun, it's happy, and yay, and and that's all it needs to be. If it's not entertaining, don't watch it. If season three isn't good to you, don't watch it anymore. Watch one and two. They're good then, right? Or do what makes you happy, but don't 
rain on other people's parades for still enjoying it. There's a whole, like, message, I think, in this show we're talking about, right? This whole show that everybody's going back and forth about, about tolerance and friendship and acceptance of other people's beliefs and ideas. That sort of message that I think people are kind of trampling over as they argue with each other about this show. I think there's a lesson in that, you know. A, a Princess Celestia letter that someone should be writing about now, about the lessons they learned. Just something to think about.